So you're in the market for a used car and you have a specific checklist. You want to make sure that your next purchase is going to be reliable, comfortable, practical, economical, but you also want something fun and that's the rub. Where do you go? Look no further than this. This is the 2015 Ford Fiesta ST and guess what? It's got to be fun because party is its name. And because it's an ST, it is the performance version of this car. And I mean, really, as a used car right now, these things are about eight to 15 grand. That's, that fits into anybody's budget. So I'm really excited about going out for a drive, really experiencing it, and investigating doesn't meet all those checklist items. So we're gonna go do that right now. The great thing about driving the ST is that everywhere you go, you could just be flooring it. I mean, it's like slow enough so that you can't really get into trouble, but it's it's asking you to push it, and because you are, it's really fun. It's incredible how fun it is. Man, why aren't all cars this good? You know, heel towing in this car for me is actually a little difficult because the pedals are just a little far away, but uh, it is doable and when you get it right, it, it just rewards you really nicely. I mean, you, you feel like you worked for it and maybe that's part of the car's charm. What is it like to really drive this thing? Well, it's it's kind of great. I mean, this car is, you know, it's four or five years old and it feels tight. You don't really hear any rattles. There's, you know, there's a very purposeful feeling in how the car drives. I mean, I steer and I know this is a front wheel drive car and I expect maybe a little bit of roll or push. No, nothing. This thing just sticks. It's great. And the funny thing about it is, I feel like it's, I feel like it's purposely designed to be chucked into corners. And I bet you I'm lifting, a, I'm probably lifting a wheel somewhere. <laughs> So I know this car ultimately is slow, but it is so much fun to drive. I mean, this really is a car you could drive like nine or 10 tenths and really not get into trouble. I mean, it it's incredible how well behaved it is when you're pushing it. Like, I don't think you buy the ST and you just put around all day. Like if that's what you're gonna do, just go get a regular Fiesta. Nothing wrong with that car, it's the same chassis. But if you're gonna buy this car, with the turbo and you know the manual i mean god i just I, it's such a travesty to not throw it into corners and hear that sound and downshift and just oh yeah so good the other good thing about this car is that it's got really good boost on the braking system when you step on the brakes the car slows down, reacts perfectly, and you need these brakes because, you know, I mean, you're gonna be stepping on it everywhere, honestly. You're gonna be flooring this thing every corner you get a chance. I find myself going, there's a turn, how fast can I go through it? And then I throw the car in, and right around the corner there might be another car stopped. Then you hit the brakes, we're all good. This car's got a 1.6 liter four cylinder turbo and uh, it's about 197 horsepower it's pretty good i mean the car is light the car gives you um, a lot of great feel 
uh, when you step on the gas. I mean, it's not a ton of torque, but you feel it in the seat. And that, I think, is the ultimate measure of power from your car. So I'm very excited to say that, you know, for not a lot of money, that's, a, that's something you can check off the list on the performance side of stuff. All right, guys, so that pretty much wraps up our drive in the 2015 Fiesta. And um, I guess the question remains, if you only have room for one car in your garage, is this one you should go for? Does it do everything that daily life needs us to do, like shopping and gas mileage and commuting and all that stuff, but at the same time give you that fun factor that we're all searching for? You know, I think it does. And I think there's a great use case of bringing back hot hatchbacks. Ford, if you're listening, I would love for you to bring the second generation here and maybe market it a little better so that way you can get your sales figures up and make a better case to have more generations. That'd be great. Uh, anyway, guys, that's it for me on this one. Please go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already. That really helps the channel grow. Uh, I also really appreciate it. And uh, comment below if you have anything to say. I, I read them all. So um, I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.